Now the other things that are essential for internet security are the internet security products. Now what are these? These are the antiviruses, the password managers and the security suits. So an antivirus is basically to check if any file contains any malicious code that can harm your system. And antiviruses get regular updates on what kind of codes that are available or known to cause uh, certain malicious activities. So updating your antivirus is one of the very important key points to have a secure system. So these days not just the antivirus what we get are security suits. So in security suits you by default get certain firewalls which can do some sta uh, stateful packet inspection that can check on uh, what applications are communicating uh, over the network and all of those things. So it can also detect any malicious activities or any malicious communications that are happening uh, through your system over the network. So security suit is uh, something which is much more advanced than just the antivirus. So antivirus is only able to check certain files uh, and softwares for uh, the kind of behaviors that they perform but a security suit can also check network activities uh, that are happening over your system. Now we have something called password managers. So password managers are uh, certain softwares that are heavily encrypted and can manage the number of a lot of passwords and these days you have a lot of applications, a lot of passwords that you uh, use to access those applications and at times it becomes really difficult uh, to remember all those different uh, passwords. And moreover organizations have their own policies over uh, having uh, changing the or having changed your password say in a fortnight or like in three months, six months. So it becomes difficult to manage, manage these passwords. Hence some applications like password managers allow you uh, to store those passwords. Now it is the time to come towards uh, come to a reflection spot. Uh, now what you can do is you can uh, pause the video for uh, some time and then try to answer the question. So the question here is which of the following is a valid, valid example for a three way multi factor authentication? Option A password, a pin code, a face ID, option B password, face ID or a fingerprint, option C password, secure token, pin and option D face ID, OTP and date of joining. Now you can pause the video for a while and try to see which one is the right option. Here D is the correct answer as face ID is something you inherit which is basically your face. OTP is received on your mobile phone that is something you have and date of joining is something that you know. The others are using similar factors. Now this brings us to the uh, last topic that we want to discuss uh, on in security which is basically certain practices that we can follow at home to ensure uh, a secure communication and secure network.